feathers that I'm wearing are close to 100 years old. But it would be years before Chief Ralph Leon of Staelis, a First Nations tribe in BC's Lower Mainland, could wear this sacred headdress. He earned the cultural right to use it, but says a probation order barred him from using eagle feathers. Chief Leon, who survived abuse in a residential school, was arrested and strip searched when he, his friend Gary Abbott, and 11 others were charged with various Wildlife Act offenses in 2006 after nearly 50 mutilated eagle carcasses were found in North Vancouver. We had nothing to do with, with the findings of those birds. They're, they're sacred to us. Almost a decade later in 2015, Crown Council determined it no longer had grounds to proceed and their charges were dropped, but not before the case claimed many of their reputations, relationships and jobs. I'm a teacher by trade and I wasn't allowed to be that teacher, which I loved so much. Nine years we went and had to check in every week for bail. Their lawyer argued the BC Conservation Officer Service used inappropriate undercover tactics attending Indigenous cultural events like powwows to gain trust, bringing alcohol onto the otherwise dry reserve and luring the accused men into illegal activity. I don't want my children or my grandchildren to have to go through that. That's why we, we were fighting this. Their story is now the subject of a petition tabled by B.C. Conservative MP Brad Viss in the House of Commons this week. Those wrongfully charged have gathered sufficient evidence showcasing A. Conspiracy to prosecute innocent people. B. Defamatory media release vilifying Indigenous peoples and cultures. C. Fabrication of evidence and concealment of evidence including perjury. When asked about a public inquiry, Justice Minister David Lametti told Global News he'll review the petition. I understand the importance of eagles and eagle feathers uh, to their, their tradition, to their ceremony, and so we'll work to try to find a solution. These men are also calling for the return of their seized regalia. Things I learned from residential school, day school, conservation services taught me something really valuable how not to be. They're also seeking an apology with acknowledgement the systemic efforts to make Indigenous culture criminal are not just a part of Canada's history, but Canada's present. Nitu Garcha, Global News, Vancouver.